This Venus flytrap is called Dracula and he is joining the competition for a drop of blood. However, this might be the biggest catch of the competition thus far. Over the past five months, our competitors have caught green flies, blue flies, and even wasps. Each one of these catches give the competitors bonus points on the leaderboard, which pushes them towards that first spot. But there is nothing more difficult or rarer to catch than a black fly that Dracula has right here. Let's find out if he has what it takes to catch the most agile bug in the garden. Not only has Dracula just caught the rarest bug in our garden, but it only took him 23 seconds to do it. On top of this, these flies are so quick and difficult to catch that when we update his time on the leaderboard, he will have so many bonus points that he will fly past the other competitors. However, today's rivals have had a few weeks of rest and are now more than ready to demolish his 23 second catch. Yet, unlike Dracula, who is pretty mysterious and a flytrap we don't know much about, Tiger Teeth is rarely struggling. Of course, he wants to beat the 23 second standard of the day, but his last catch was nearly three minutes long and puts him directly into seventh position. This is actually embarrassing for him as he is a specialized Venus flytrap who is losing to Red, a common flytrap. On top of this, he joined the series to prove that despite being young, that he could still win but this won't happen if he stays in 7th spot. The only way to move past Red and bring less embarrassment to himself and all the other cultivars is to beat the 23 second standard of the day. This is embarrassing for him. He's proven just how inexperienced he is by making two major mistakes. He should have waited for this fly to get into the right position as a few of his legs are still on the edge of his mouth. This makes it easier for him to pull himself out if he were to get caught. Yet, his biggest mistake is that he hesitated with his squeeze. If he squeezed just a bit quicker, he wouldn't have lost his catch and could have set a new time for the day. I can only imagine how bad his position might look when we update the leaderboard, but I know for a fact that our next competitor is more than ready to set a new standard for the day. Between his friend Peaches getting attacked by a wasp, this is mental, and his unsuccessful attempt at a record-breaking triple catch, Red has been out of the flytrap games for three events straight. Some subscribers say he is too embarrassed to try again, yet others say he has been helping Peaches recover. Regardless, the facts don't change. He is sitting above Tiger Teeth, a specialized flytrap by one spot. This is a huge opportunity for him as he is the first ever standard flytrap to outcompete a cultivar. On top of this, with the amount of rest he has had, and today's time to beat at only 23 seconds, I think Red is going to show us another one of his power catches. Wow, this is probably the best thing that could have ever happened for Red. Not only is this his quickest catch yet, but he has also just set a new time of the day. Let's take another look at what just happened, as it seems like that fly nearly got away. Oh wow, if Red was even a split second slower, this fly would have easily been able to squeeze through his teeth. Look at how much they bend forward just to hold this fly back. I don't know if he got lucky with this catch or not, but this is a huge opportunity for him to get a better spot in the competition. Yet, we still have one more flytrap in today's event before we update the leaderboard. And with a new time to beat, I wonder how well Spider is going to do with this added pressure. Spider has had a bit of a strange competition so far. Although he is the biggest flytrap in the garden, all his catches up until now have been pretty average. Two flies, 
and one wasp is all he has managed. This has been a big surprise to all of us, as he is one of the favourites to win the competition, especially as he is looking for his biggest catch yet, a human, and winning this competition will bring him one step closer to that. However, he will have to beat the new time of the day, 11 seconds, to have a chance at moving up the leaderboard. All credit to him, he has been slowly chipping away at his average time, but he has nearly finished all 5 of his catches for the competition. It might just be that he is betting on the top 3 competitors to have bad catches in the future events, which is very possible. You subscribers have seen just how much the leaderboards have changed in the past few months. Regardless, I wonder if he can show us why he is so feared by all the other competitors. he makes it look easy. Not only has he just smashed the time of the day, but he has also caught a blue fly worth 6 bonus points. Let's take a second look at that. Look at him, he's clueless. This fly must be just as surprised as us. This catch was so quick that he didn't even react. Remember guys, Crosstooth once had a catch as quick as this, and that stayed as a record for quite a while. 4 seconds is insane, and this with his added bonus points mean he is getting extremely close to pushing his way into the top spot. And talking about that, let's update the leaderboard and take a look at where all our competitors now stand. Well guys, it has been a very fast paced episode simply because we have had such amazing catches from all of our contestants today. What this also means is that the top three spots have changed once again and is getting very, very close up there. So let's get started. In ninth spot, we have Peaches. No surprise there because she still hasn't caught anything and it is looking very, very bleak for her down there. Of course, she's moved down one spot because we have our new contestant today, Dracula. My handwriting is bad, not because I'm a five-year-old, but because it is difficult to write with a whiteboard dangling on a box. So please don't judge, please don't judge me. Please don't judge me. <laughs> In eighth spot, we have Tiger Teeth, who isn't performing much better than her, to be honest. He had his first miss today, which means that he has gained an extra 13 seconds after his three-minute time penalty. That is really embarrassing for him as he is a specialized flytrap, they're called cultivars, and he is one spot behind Red, who is a common flytrap, he is just a typical. And thanks to that really good catch and a two second bonus for actually catching the fly, Red has been able to shave off 30 seconds from his old time. Just above him, we have Brad's Giant, who isn't really worrying about Red, as his time puts him pretty far out of reach, but this is where things start to get spicy. After his four second catch today on a blue fly, which gives him six extra bonus seconds, Spider has been able to shave off 17 seconds from his average time. Guys, look at how close Spider is to overtaking Crosstooth at 11 seconds. Did I not say he was a fierce competitor in the series? Now, the top three are very close, but keep in mind they've only each had one chance in the competition so far. In the next events, their averages are probably going to get worse, so I genuinely cannot imagine what this leaderboard is going to look like in a couple months. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. In third spot, we have Dracula. But remember, he caught that black fly at 23 seconds. The rarest and most agile bug in our garden. That means he gets a massive bonus point of 14 seconds, bringing him down to an average of 9 seconds. That's huge. That is massive. Guys, I forgot to put the fly on for red, so I'm doing it now. Now we have no change with the top two. B52 sits at 4 seconds, and I still can't believe it, but DCXL is sitting at 0 seconds. 
If you didn't see his catch, that was in episode number five, and that is also when he set the record of the series thus far. And anyway, we are now losing the war again, so hopefully next episode we can turn that around. But until then, I'll see you guys later.